I actually have very much enjoyed the New Orleans Pelicans offseason so far, but shout out to getting Zion to sign that extension. That needed to be done. And also, have you guys heard the rumors? Dyson Daniels, the six foot eight with a six foot eleven wingspan man, supposedly is gonna okay, right, listen to this quote. Shout out Jesse Brooks at Fox 8 Live. So after being taken with the eighth overall pick, Dyson Daniels is already impressing in practice, okay, in front of the coaching staff. They've been playing in multiple scrimmages and putting him in different positions according to lead assistant Sharon Collins and who's going to coach the summer league. And obviously, he said he can play as the primary ball handler, but he also literally can play one through four and defend every single position. And they're enamored with the, this the fact that he's 6'8 with a 6'11 wingspan and has the physical tools to be inserted in so many different scenarios on the floors in different roles. And Colin said his versatility will allow them to be so creative with the lineups and his availability will allow him to put him in different spots. And I think they're, it's just such a win move. And obviously we can all agree that I personally like Jonas Valanciunas. I think Jonas Valanciunas is awesome. They don't need to get rid of him. But I will admit that if they can find a trade partner, trade partner, Jesus could not speak there for Devonte Graham. Tell me I'm wrong. I know Devonte Graham. I go to the University of Kansas, so I'm, I'm a big Devonte Graham fan. But personally, saying Devonte Graham, if listen to this, he's a good catch and shoot three pointer. He's actually up there. I think a top ten catch and shoot three point. Like, I know his shooting percentages are, aren't the best, but if you just search up Devontae Graham catch and shoots, he's actually, like, really good at just catch and shoot threes. And for me, I I just can't. Devon, and he also offers good defense. Yes. And for me, I don't know. I don't know. I personally, and I know he shot 34% this past year from three in the past two years, 37, and he's a career 37% field goal percentage shooter which is terrible but career 35 percent three-point shooter and he basically only takes threes a game i how do i put this i'm not completely sold on Devonte graham i know he can come in give you some decent defense at times but i get scared that i just feel like that 12 million dollars you could split it evenly and plus i love garrett temple but i think garrett temple and Devonte graham that's 16.5 million dollars you have right there basically with the two of them almost 16.8 if we actually 16.7 actually if you wanted to trade that and 16.7 you can get yourself a lot of players for 16.7 million dollars you can go out and get yourself terrence ross and tell me i'm wrong but i think terrence ross would help this team tremendously and that's what i'm saying is i feel like these are moves that are being you know over overlooked what what do you got? Are you guys with me that Devontae Graham should be traded? Maybe I'm 100% wrong. I could be 100% wrong. I just think, first off, this offseason has been great. They haven't do, done many moves because there isn't really anything to do. Just run it back. This is a great team. But look, first off, they could package Devontae Graham and Garrett Temple and have enough money to trade for Jonathan Isaac. Would you guys do that deal? I would do that deal personally. Devontae Graham and Garrett Temple for Jonathan Isaac. Jonathan Isaacs makes 17.4. That deal right there, 16.7. You'd only take $700,000 in salary, which they can do. Then you can also go out there and get yourself a guy if you wanted to look around the market. Also, I did not know when No Carter was making 14.1 this year, but a Doug McDermott. If you want more three point shooting, go get yourself Doug McDermott and ask him to throw in one of their bench players if you really care for something like that or see if the utah jazz really want to move on from jordan clarkson there's a plethora of players all right even i kelly Oubre was awesome for the hornets so i doubt they'd trade him but i just i look at this and there there's moves out there for them to do like Ter Vontae graham and a terrence ross swap would actually work out really well for them so that's where I want to hear your thoughts. Are you guys on the same page with me that they should be looking at deals like this? Like even a Talon Horn Tucker with Kendrick Nunn package together would work out perfectly. Those are deals. I know they wouldn't do that because of the situation they're in, but you got to look at things like that. Or even if you looked at the Memphis Grizzlies, if they want to move Dylan Brooks or Danny Green, okay, and then package in one of their, one of their many bench players that they have that are young. I just think these are deals that we should be looking at and seeing if that they could commit or even see if they want to package TJ McConnell. And I think 
who else is on that team of the Pacers? Okay, look at the Pacers. Pacers would be a great team to do business with because uh, you get TJ McConnell, a backup point guard, and then be like, oh, what if you throw TJ McConnell and this? I was going to say Buddy Heald, but Buddy Heald's making, making way more money than I actually thought he was. I thought Buddy Heald was making closer to like 15, not 20. So screw, screw the Pacers trade. But that's basically.